Are you using the right shampoo? And that depends on whether you take the time to turn the bottle around and look at the ingredient list for ingredients that might suit your hair type. Do you know how to find the right ingredients for your hair type just by looking at the back of a shampoo bottle? And I do understand that this process can be slightly difficult, but in today's video, I'm going to simplify this process for you and hopefully by the end of this video, you know exactly what to look out for in the ingredient list. Hi, I'm Preeti and before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the Big Basket channel and hit the bell icon. Do you have curly, wavy or straight hair? In today's video, we're going to find out the right shampoo for your hair type. Now let's begin with curly hair first. Choosing the perfect shampoo for curly hair can be a bit tricky since it takes a lot more time for the natural oils from the scalp to reach the ends because of the various waves and curls. And that's the reason that curly hair tends to be frizzy and really dry. So what you should be looking for in a shampoo are hydrating ingredients. You need to retain as much water as possible while washing. That's where hydrating shampoos come in, where they help retain the moisture in your hair. Look for shampoos that have the following hydrating ingredients like coconut oil, shea butter, as well as glycerine. These work their magic by hydrating your hair as well as keeping the frizz at bay. Shea butter is rich in fatty acids and vitamins that provides intense moisture. It helps to soften and condition the hair, reducing frizz and improving the curl definition. Another ingredient to look out for on the shampoo bottle is glycerine because glycerine is a humectant, which means it has the property to retain moisture from the air and retain it in your hair. This is particularly useful for curly hair which is prone to dryness as it moisturizes the curls and increases elasticity, making it less prone to breakage. Glycerine also aids in detangling and reducing frizz. Moving on to the next ingredient which is nothing but coconut oil. And coconut oil has the ability to penetrate the hair shaft and hydrate it from within. It also prevents protein loss from the hair, keeping it strong and less prone to damage. Now moving on to the things to avoid, it should mostly be sulfate-free shampoos, but when it comes to a sulfate family, you need to avoid sodium lauryl sulfate, which is SLS, which is way more harmful than its another sister ingredient, which is SLES, sodium lauryl ether sulfate. Now, there is a lot of misconception in the market when it comes to SLES, but SLES is a very gentle cleanser and does not cause that much harm. Apart from SLS, you also need to avoid alcohol as well as silicones. Now, alcohol, especially ethanol and isopropyl alcohol, are known to have extremely drying effects on your scalp and hair, which leads to fizz. And why do we avoid silicones? Although all silicones are not that bad, but they have the tendency to build up on your scalp, making your hair look heavier and limp instead of light and bouncy which is the look that you want to go when you have curls. Now moving on to straight hair. Now as you can all see I do have straight hair. Now people with straight hair are considered extremely blessed but it does come with a few set of problems as well like my hair is always limp and straight hair people often face problems of volume and yeah that is one of the biggest issue when it comes to straight hair. So that's exactly what we're going to be addressing today and looking for ingredients in a shampoo that can give us a boost in our volume. Ingredients like rice or wheat protein can add volume as well as texture to your hair. They help in lifting the hair away from the scalp giving it a more fuller appearance. If your hair looks oily or limpy then you should go ahead and look for ingredients which contain citrus such as lemon or orange that can help in reducing the oiliness produced by your scalp. They have astringent properties which helps in reducing the excess oil production produced by your scalp. Avoid shampoos that have heavy oils such as mineral oil or coconut oil because they can really limp up your hair and make them look extremely flat and greasy. Keratin is a protein which is naturally found in your hair and a shampoo with added keratin will help replenish it in your hair. If your hair is extremely prone to damage, then opt for ingredients on your shampoo bottle which have certain proteins such as biotin, keratin or you can also look for vitamins such as vitamin E or B5. And vitamins like E and B5 helps in increasing elasticity as well as makes it less prone to damage. Moving on to the third hair type, wavy hair. Wavy hair is truly the best of both the worlds. Wavy hair has the elegance of straight hair as well as the bounce of curly hair. But wavy hair can also be really challenging at times. Sometimes wavy hair can look extremely undefined and look like frizz or something that you haven't detangled. Now, wavy hair, as you know, tends to be on the drier side. So it's better to use an ingredient like aloe vera, 
in your ingredient list. This helps not only in moisturizing your hair but also helps in reducing frizz as well as preventing dryness making your waves look beautiful and curl. If the lack of proper definition is your problem, then you can always opt for shampoos containing chamomile extract which are perfect for wavy hair. Chamomile adds shine and enhances the definition of your waves giving them a more polished and a lustrous appearance. Even shampoos with sea salt can help the waves by holding their form and giving them this almost beachy look. If you want to avoid tangles, then go for something that is paraben free. In fact, as a general rule, just avoid all products that are not paraben free. Parabens are a group of preservatives that can be disruptive to the hair's natural pH balance. So another general hair care tip is to try washing your hair with lukewarm to cold water instead of a hot water which can literally strip your hair of its natural oils. So there you have it, the right shampoo for all your hair type issues. I hope you enjoyed this particular video. Don't forget to subscribe to our Big Basket channel and I'll see you soon.